Yo, what's up? I'm Phantombrov, and today I'll be sharing you everything you need to know about the Division Heartland that was spoken about today in the Division Day stream by Ubisoft. Let's get into it. What we know is that today Ubisoft hosted the Division Day, a special event where the creative team behind the Division franchise gave a sneak and peek at everything that's coming. The Division 2 team revealed their Year 5 roadmap and Season 1 Broken Wings. The Division Heartland made its cinematic debut. So they came out with this cinematic intro, the Division Heartland, the upcoming free to play PVEVP survival action shooter made its cinematic debut during the Division Day showcase, showing off their town of Silver Creek, teasing the enemy factions and mysterious virus players will face. The Division Heartland will go into closed beta later this year. If you want to be a part of it, head over to the divisionheartland.com to register for a chance to participate as well as receive five friend invites. Now. The main things we know and i will show you just briefly after explaining everything we know you will see the cinematic intro that was shown and gameplay so that's also super super cool uh, we haven't really seen gameplay of the division heartland yet what i'll do in the description down below i'll start off with a link to this article if you want you can go to twitch and rewatch the entire ubisoft stream of the division day event the division heartland content starts at around 1740 in the stream and if you want to know about when this game is coming out with its closed betas we know that something's coming out in the summer which is winter for us here in australia the cinematic trailer looks really good the gameplay trailer looks really good it also goes over a couple of the mechanics in the game which is really really cool we know that it's very very similar to the division 2 and the story ties in and yeah basically we know that there'll be closed betas and we know that we will have something this summer and winter St winter of course being for those who are in australia so now i'll just play the videos from the stream that i've managed to edit into a more congested format so you can just see what you need to know from the cinematic trailer and everything with the gameplay Welcome to Silver Creek, a sweet little town in middle America. You know the kind. Pumpkin patches, apple pies, and the best damn cup of coffee you'll ever have. Silver Creek was perfect, up until it wasn't. The green poison changed everything for everyone. It started in New York on Black Friday, the biggest shopping day of the year. They called it the dollar flu because it spread on money. The virus knew no boundaries. No matter where it hit, the bodies piled up. And when it spread to Silver Creek, the result was the same. Death. I'm Division Agent Mackenzie Reed. Originally from Kansas, I was stationed in Boston when the shit hit the fan after Black Friday. I left Boston and came to Silver Creek looking for Killian Tower, my commander. Well, he was my commander, until recently. For reasons unknown, he disavowed the Division, and is now a rogue agent. Killian betrayed my team, and murdered them. He gunned them down and fled. No clues, no motive. Only a bloody trail for me to follow. That trail has led me to Silver Creek. I wasn't prepared for what I found. I wanted answers. But all I got was more questions. Why is the virus different here? Why did Killian murder the team he proudly commanded? And why is he amassing an army of Reapers in Silver Creek? Everything I've seen tells me that Silver Creek's at the heart of something big. I can't do this alone, Agent. I need your help. Hey, everyone. We're so excited to show you Heartland, an all new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured their heart into this game and we can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to Silver Creek. Heartland's a free to play survival action shooter set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore, filled with dynamic PVEVP gameplay. In Heartland, you play as a division agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in middle America. It's your job to keep the town safe from enemy factions, rogue agents, and a deadly contamination. 
Heartland explores what happened to small town America when the green poison was unleashed on the world. While major metropolitan centers got aid from agencies like SARA in The Division, what help did the Heartland get? This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. I'm Keith Evans, Creative Director and Heartland at Red Storm Entertainment. Hi, I'm Taylor Epperly. I'm the Associate Game Director on Heartland. I'm really excited for folks to see what the world of The Division looks like in small town America. Hi, I'm Carrie Bland, community developer on Heartland, and I can't wait for our players to see all the hard work and dedication the team has put in. We've spent a year in closed tests, building on the experience, responding to the feedback we received, and have evolved towards a truly unique and exciting take on survival PvEVP gameplay. Heartland launches with a robust experience for players on day one. The player's first task is to help Mackenzie Reed get Silver Creek's base of operations back up and running. Players will be tasked with completing a set of missions and projects, all focused on the goals of exploring the town and gathering the supplies necessary to help prepare the base of operations. Every mission completed gives players the tools and strength necessary to survive. Silver Creek is a hostile environment filled with deadly contamination, roaming enemy hordes, and the looming threat of sickness and dehydration. Players will have to be prepared if they hope to survive a full day in the town. As day turns to night, Silver Creek is sent into high alert. The survival threat increases and dangerous PvEVP from rogue players and AI is introduced. Night is a deadly sandbox filled with unexpected threats, but there is that constant carrot of great rewards. As players progress, they unlock the ability to select one of three active classes. Every class brings something unique to the table, from the survivalist ability to highlight loot behind walls, to the weapons expert ability to craft and deploy an assault turret. Combining these classes in a squad helps you overcome Silver Creek's toughest challenges. Where one teammate might be falling behind, you really want to make sure that you're picking up that weight. Talking together and working as a true unit is the best way to make sure you're successful in Silver Creek. Heartland features a deadly and unpredictable contamination that makes every trip into Silver Creek unique. To help you in your journey, you'll be able to fabricate supplies, prepare your go bag for each new day, making sure you can achieve even the toughest goals. The contamination shapes the areas of the map that are easily accessible, and using a filter protects agents from the contamination, but the filter depletes pretty quickly inside the contaminated areas. So depending on how many filters you have on hand, you might decide to head into a contaminated area and get some loot that other folks passed up. There's also the ever-present threat of dehydration. Dehydration can slow you down, so you really have to keep an eye out for fresh, non-contaminated water when you're out in Silver Creek. Try to be as prepared as possible. You're gonna wanna set yourself up for success out there. But if you do find yourself a little underprepared, hopefully you have a teammate that'll let you crawl inside their backpack. Who knows, maybe they have juice boxes in there. In Silver Creek, Shade Agents are using the Rocket Rink, an abandoned roller skating rink, as their base of operations. For the first time in the Division, the entire base of operations is a shared space. You can socialize, form a group, customize your character, and prep for your next operation. Each session begins and ends in the base of operations, and you'll be talking to Carmelita, Kevin, and Mackenzie quite often. Each time players exfiltrate back to their base of operations, they take the materials and gear they've collected and store it in their personal armory to help them prepare for future days in the town. When you're going up against rogue agents, you kind of get into a bit of a cat or mouse situation. For me, I'm definitely more of a mouse. You don't have to worry about rogue agents if they can't see you. There's a couple different strategies you can use against rogue players. I love using Heartland's class skills to set up ambushes, coordinating with my teammates to make sure we're repairing our armor as needed. And then when the shooting's done, I love looking through their loot and taking all the good stuff. Heartland will be a living game. The stories we tell on day one are just the beginning. We can't wait for players to dive in and take this journey with us. We're thrilled to take the next step as we enter our testing phase. Our community team will be looking at feedback shared across social channels and on our official forums while we evolve our game together with our community, shaping the long-term Heartland experience. 
The team is committed to creating the best possible experience for our players, and the community is invaluable in helping make that happen. I really think we've created something that the original survival players will recognize, while also innovating with open world operations, dynamic contamination. The team here at Red Storm is proud and feel we're really onto something. Heartland feels fresh and distinct, while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. Thank you for taking this journey with us. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. I would like to know what you think in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think about the cinematic trailer and gameplay. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to get more related content. Check out my socials in the description down below to stay up to date with everything Phantom Brav related. Peace.